Hi, it's Tiffany Verbecki with the Coping with Depression blog at HealthyPlace.com. And this week I want to talk about making excuses when it comes to coping with depression. I've been exhausted lately and for no good reason other than I'm not taking care of myself. And I make the excuse that I don't need to take care of myself because I'm too tired to do so successfully. Um, coping with depression can feel like trying to eat a whole rack of ribs in one bite. It can feel overwhelming and without an appropriate end goal or the appropriate encouragement, it can feel basically pointless. And for the past month, I have just allowed myself to sit in my depression and not cope. It's disappointing. Um, and so there are two things that I have really tried to enact that I hope will eventually become habitual and um, keep me from making so many excuses when it comes to my mental health. The first thing is I want to keep an active list on um, how I feel when I'm successfully coping with my depression or when I have taken care of myself and practiced successful self-care and I feel better um, or when I have moments of clarity where I feel particularly unburdened and I want to describe those for myself and um, describe maybe how proud I feel or how light I feel or how strong it makes me that I am facing my depression head on and trying to work despite the fact that it's pulling me down. I'm hoping that if I write it well enough, that list can convince the very depressed me that getting up and doing the work is actually incredibly worthwhile. Um, second, I think that I need to come up with a better end goal when it comes to taking care of myself. Of course, I want to cope with my depression because it's unhealthy to allow myself to sit and because it doesn't feel good to be so low. But there's more. I want to be in a better mindset, but if I don't know what mindset exactly that is, I can't possibly establish the proper route to get there. So if I determine specifically where I want to be in my brain as I'm coping, then I should better be able to assess my needs and assess how I need to get where I want to go. So. If you are finding that you are in the same place of making excuses and really not taking your care of yourself, excuse me, um, if you're acting dismissive towards coping with your depression, try to make a list during the bright times and the positive times and the times that you're kicking depression's butt so that you can encourage yourself later to get up and fight the good fight and try to come up with a better goal so you know exactly where to go and it won't feel as overwhelming. Making excuses has been really easy for me. Saying that I deserve a break because I'm so tired has been really, really easy for me. And it's also been really bad. I've been neglecting my mental health and I think that it's showing more and more every single day. So I encourage you to not allow yourself to slack. I encourage you to take breaks from being actively involved in your mental illness, but make those breaks an act of self-care. Constantly wake up and make that decision to take care of yourself because I promise that those moments of clarity are worth it and the excuses are not. I'm gonna go make some lists, bye.